Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna go behind the scenes, kind of show you some of the highlights of our Dallas, Texas preseason throws camp. It's a really good day. One of the things we did is we had changed up the format and we're really trying to make sure that connection of understanding the throwing chain reaction, how it works, how it connects, how the six pillars of the throw work. And again, the results from the camp were really awesome to see. We had some young throwers that felt self-conscious, didn't know how to move, and we taught them how to move through and feel the throw. And by the end of the day, they were moving extremely well and understanding how they have to train. Big thanks to Coach Robinson at Dallas Jesuit Prep, Efren Alonzo, Jamie McGee, James Burke. Uh, you guys were awesome. Everybody out there, hopefully you enjoy the video. Check it out. Welcome to our Throwing Chain Reaction Camp. Throwing is definitely a, a complex sport, okay? But when you start to understand how it works, that complexity becomes very simple. So for a world-class thrower, when they get the discus to here and by the time they release the implement, it's about one and a half seconds. For our beginners, maybe at two seconds or just over. The idea with this camp is not just to come and tell you how throwing works, but to come and teach you a, a, a way of looking at the throw, an actual system that we said we break down into six pillars so you know how to train position. This is the slingshot effect. If you guys don't know how to do this, this is what your throw looks like when you do it right. You see? See how I have this? Now, here's what, here's what a throw with no separation looks like. What we're doing is when I do this, look where my chest and my hips are facing the bleachers. When I turn, so when you guys rotate, don't turn your hips, that's called separation. Brandon Smith, Oxford, Mississippi. Okay. Oh. Stratton Smith yeah. from Oxford. Yeah. Mississippi. I like the fact you get out, you start doing the things you're talking about as you go. I like the amount of reps we got. Yeah, just you, being able to throw. You feel like you got a lot of work in today? Yes, yeah, that's he's good. tired. He goes, he goes. I'm, I'm thrown out. I'm just crazy bad <laughs> habits now. Like, would you recommend the camp to other people? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Tom Arrington from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Oh. Excellent job. I mean, yeah, very thorough in, in explanations and, and took a time on the track. Great. We put it in, onto the track field. Great. It's the newest. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's some of the same things we've taught, but it's, it's, it's addressed in a different language in a way. And the, and the band, telling you know, you're thinking about stretching out, but the band is keeping you stretched out as opposed right. to reaching out to that corner, and, right. you know, as yeah. we've been taught through the years. Good. And would you recommend the camp to anybody else? Completely. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, that was solid. A long two days. Again, just think about how much time we spent working on positions. This is how you get better. This is one of the reasons why this is a tougher sport. Throwing is technical, it's hard, right? Lots of work. The big thing I want you guys to remember, it takes two seconds. There's just not enough time. You have to learn what to do. You either set things up right or you don't. And it pretty much boils down to that. Set up that chain reaction, things start to fall into place more naturally. That's what we were really trying to get across. That's the whole point of the throwing chain reaction. Then you put them together, now everything starts to get a lot better. Give yourselves a quick hand again, because it was a good, good two days. All right, 